If you like this video, please go ahead and consider hitting that like button. Subscribe if you have not already, and please, by all means, share this video. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Farming Simulator 22 Map First Impressions video. Today, we're going to take a look at Arkansas of America. But before that, this video is brought to you by Artemis and Bobby W. Thank you for being farm barons. So the Arkansas of American map we found over at the FarmingSimulator.com website for the in-game downloadable content menu. And as of the 1.0 release, this map is available for all platforms. Let me read you some of the description. Welcome everyone to Arkansas of America, or American. A map inspired by the rural region of the state of Arkansas with its very wooded vegetation. The map has a light relief and a mountain range that is found on the map where you can admire the panoramic view of the entire valley where the map meets the beautiful lake to the south. This map contains a total of 61 fields. The farm starts well set up with equipment to work with animals but have access to the BGA it is necessary to buy the land where it is located. This map not only contains 61 fields but also 37 fields for agriculture, eight pasture areas where you can set up your own farm or open new fields, eight forestry areas to work with forestry, four cell points, two animal pins, one for cows, so the other is for chickens, and the map author says, I hope you all like it and have fun. Now, while this map does not have any required mods, we are going to be using the mods we typically use when we look at maps. They are additional field info, additional game settings, animal food overview, field lease, field calculator, precision farming, and straw harvest. Now, if you happen to load this map up in farm management or start from scratch, you will find that the main starting farm is completely void of buildings, but you do start out with starting machinery in all game modes. In addition, if you happen to load this map up on a lower end system, for example, I used a system with AMD integrated graphics. I found that I was able to obtain a solid 60 FPS everywhere that I was on the map without any issue whatsoever. Let's go ahead and take a look at the PDA. We're going to zoom out. And first thing you're going to notice is the map is, at least the play area, is slightly smaller than a standard size map. In fact, if we go to the lands, you'll see a good chunk of the map is what I would call the unbuyable land. That is the land that is surrounding the map, as well as the town areas. And theoretically, you could buy that for $10,200,000. We do have all our standard crops available to us in FS22 available on this map, and including if you happen to load the map up with Precision on a Precision Premium Edition, then you will have your red beets, carrots, and parsnips. As far as starting land, we start out with Farmland ID 2 and Farmland ID 10. Those are going to contain our farm buildings, and we also have Farmland ID 3, 4, and 11. You see the forested areas here are the darker green, so we have one here at Farmland 97, 50, 23, we have 59, 58, 57, as well as 27, 28, 25, and 26. Let's go ahead and take a look at our farmland lease screen. This is going to show us all of the viable farmlands, how large those farmlands are, if those farmlands include any field or fields, what is included, and lastly, how much is that farmland going to cost us? Now we can go cross-reference that with the field calculator screen. This is going to show us the specific sizes of each particular field. And let's go ahead and take a look at our precision farming soil map. This map is making use of the generic soil map that is a part of the precision farming mod. So let's go ahead and see how that's being applied to these fields. You can see as far as our starting farms go, fields one, two, three, and 15 are all going to be a combination of sandy loam or loamy sand. We've got a fair bit of silty clay to the fields to the north as well. With respect to our crop counter, we do have the standard base game crop counter available on this map. And taking a look down through our prices screen, we do indeed have the ability to sell all of our base game crops. In addition, we do have the ability to sell our eggs, wool, and milk, and our silage, hay, straw, and grass. The story continues as we take a look down through all of the base game production items. We do indeed have the ability to sell all of those items as well. 
Now, a few things of note, we do not have the ability to buy bulk lime, nor do we have the ability of getting rid of our stones. So if you are gonna be playing with stones enabled, you will need to put down your own stone processor. Now, with respect to the farm production pack, we do not have the ability to sell any of our washed root crops, nor do we have the ability to sell any of the platinum expansion production items. As we have grown to learn to be accustomed to, the premium expansion production items though are all by themselves. We do have the ability to sell those at multiple sell points. In addition, if you are playing with pumps and hoses, we do have the ability of getting rid of our separated manure and those playing with straw harvest, we do have the ability to sell our hay and straw pellets. As far as our starting fleet, we do start out with a fair bit of starting machinery. As the description said, it is all owned. None of it is leased and is all fairly well maintained. We do have a chicken coop and a cow barn at the start, but we do not have any actual animals at the start. This map does have contracts available to it. We do not own any of the 11 productions that are pre-placed on this map at the start. And this map does not have any collectibles. Let's go ahead and take a look at our starting fleet. We start out with a Fent Favorite 511C small tractor. We have the Massey Ferguson 7719S, John Deere 4755, and 7810 medium tractors. We've got a Dutzfar Top Liner 4090H Harvester that is paired up with the 4090H Grain Header and the 4090H Header Trailer. The classic trio. We got the Far, Far Sin 626 Classic Telehandler. We've got the Rudolph DK 280RL trailer as well as the Wugger DK 115. We have our Cento 4000 Super Cultivator. We have our KG 3001 Super Power Hero, which is often paired up with the Sentya 3000 Super Cedar. We have the Mega 1200L Fertilizer and Herbicide Sprayer, as well as Amazon ZATS 3200 Fertilize Spreader. We have the Brantner TA-12050 Power Spread Plus Manure Spreader, the Super Cease 800 Slurry Tanker, as well as the GMD-4411 Side Mower and the GMD-3123F Front Mower. The Ponger Alpine Hit 4.4H Tether, as well as the GA-4731 Windrower. We have the Zelon CFS-2501 DO Forage Wagon, the Silo King TMR Mixer, as well as the Q5M Quickie front loader arms. For our front loader arms, we have the universal bucket and manure fork. For our telehandler, we have the pallet fork. And we wrap it up with a trio, quadrio, should I say, four, a set of four cloths front weights, all 1,500 kilograms. With respect to mods and DLCs, this map does not have any custom vehicles or implements included. Now, as far as our farm goes, we start here at our farmhouse. We do have a sleep trigger at the front door. Coming down, we have our entryway where we have our chicken coop. This is a standard FS-22 chicken coop, so we have our eggs there. And around the side, we're gonna have our food trough and we're gonna be able to have 360 chickens available in this pen. We also have our farm silo here, standard base game farm silo with a dump and fill point. In our barn, we're gonna find we have several goods. We have two pallets of seed. We have, no, four pallets of seed. We have four pallets of mineral feed. We have a pallet of silage additive. We have four big bags of solid fertilizer. We have three bales of silage. Interesting, one of them is not wrapped. We have four bales of straw and four bales of hay. We do have a workshop trigger here at the farm. Actually, it's been configured as a dealer trigger here at the farm. Now, as far as the farm being customizable, this dealer trigger and the white fencing over there around the house, they cannot be sold. Everything else though can. So we have a fuel trailer or fuel storage. Another just deco building. 
And across the street, we have our manure heap for our cows. We have our standard FS22 cow building with 45 cows available. Inside, we're gonna be able to do our food and straw trigger. We've got our milk point there. Our slurry point is gonna be on the other side. We have a pull through silage bunker here behind this shed, which would be perfect for storing bales or other loose material. And then we have a pair of easy sheds with the rest of our starting fleet. Now I wanted to point out that our BGA is located actually here at Farmland ID 62. You will need to buy the BGA in order to make use of it. And it's gonna be $49,216 to buy. All of the other productions on the map are shown here and they're all gonna be available at the actual production. Let's get a little bit of altitude and we'll take kind of a quick look around. We have our farm right here, which is split between two different sides of the road. We've got the map that continues on down that way. A few productions and cell points located over there. And now we're pretty much looking at the northern edge of the map at this point. More production and cell points. The map is going to continue around this hillside where we have the BGA and a few other, again, production and cell points. But for our aerial flyover on the map, we're going to make our way down here to the south east corner and while we're coming down here let's talk about a little bit of our scoring metrics we're going to begin the map a full point with respect to production being built in or areas set aside for such because we have 11 productions pre-placed on the map one of those is the dairy that is located right here and then the flour mill which is located right here these are all standard fs22 productions so they're all gonna be fairly easy to find. So we have our dump point there. We have our interactive icon. Somewhere. In fact, no, hold on. I misspoke. This is, this is our farmer's market, not our flour mill. Farmer's market there. We have our sawmill located right here. So we have our dump point for our wood, our wood cell trigger, our pallet point, our interactive icon, and our wood chip point. Now each forest has a little icon on the PDA that is associated with it. And it all just says area forestall. So you'll find those here. And that's what these production icons are representing. We made our way up and over this mountain. And here we are coming over to our vehicle shop where we have our trigger to buy our vehicles. And here we have our spawn point, so a fairly large spawn point especially given the general sizes of these fields and then we have another dealer trigger located right here actually at the dealer itself across the street from that we have our tailor so we have our dump point interactive point and our pallet spawn point we have our animal dealer located right here so we have our animal buy trigger, and then we have our animal dealer bale trigger to sell our bales. The biogas plant is located right here. Now, one thing that I did not test prior to this is can we sell the biogas plant? Let's go ahead and find that out. 
And it looks like no, we cannot. Even though we own it, we cannot. Oh, there we go. It didn't go away, but it claimed that we did sell it. So quite an interesting spin of events there. So now the triggers are gone, but the structure is still there. So I would say, no, the BGA is not sellable. We have our grape processor located right here. And then our spinnery located right there. Now I do believe that maybe, just maybe I have skipped over listing the actual production. So let's go ahead with that. We have the biogas plant we already talked about. We have the bakery, the sugar mill, an oil mill, carpentry, grain processor. We have the grape processor. We have the spinnery, tailor, and a sawmill. So here we have a restaurant cell point. Mama Joe's Diner cell point located right there. All the way over here to the east of the map. We have our farmer's market, or what I would think would be the farmer's market. We must have two such farmer's markets on the map. The Johnson's farmer's market, and then this is going to be Johnson's farmer's market. So that is frustrating. When you have two cell points on the map with the same name, how do you know which one is which here on the listings? Well, you're going to have to come here. You're going to have to tag it and then basically come back to the menu and figure out is it the northern farmer's market or the southern farmer's market. We have a grocery cell point located right here. At the water's edge, we have another grain cell point located right there. Make our way back to the actual flour mill that I was talking about earlier, the grain mill. It's going to be located right there. So we have our dump, we have our pallet point. And our interactive point there. We have our oil mill located right here. To the left, we have a fuel depot. To the right, we have our carpentry. Then we have our cereal factory and our sugar mill. And there we've got our starting farm, just to give you an idea of where we are. We've basically come full circle. Then we have one more cell point located up here. And this one is interestingly named for sure. You'd think it would be named something like a, you know, a mill or something like that. But no, it's, it's actually listed as the grocery mark. Oddly enough. So here we have the grocery mark. Now, with respect to our scoring, let's get back to that. We're going to give the map a full point with respect to the ability to sell all of our basing crops, animal outputs, and productions. Because, yes, we do indeed have the ability to do all that. While we don't have the ability to buy bulk lime or get rid of our stones, we do not take off any points for that. With respect to the farm being customizable, we can sell all the buildings. We can sell everything other than the dealer trigger that is located there and the fencing. We are going to take off a quarter of a point for that. Buildings where appropriately are using the new texturing technique. Yep, yeah, sure. In fact, they are all FS22 standard base game structures. And a trigger and interactive areas being clearly marked. Well, I have to say that uh, we have one set of triggers over here, which are a little bit confusing and maybe that could be addressed in an update. But down here at our flour mill, our actual 
flour mill. Right, we have our dump point. Then we have this. Which you'd think would be where our pallets spawn, right? But here around the front. But what are these then? Are these just rogue corner markers? Well, they don't exist over here. Then we have our interactive icon. So I feel like taking a quarter point off with respect to trigger and interactive areas could be marked as well. And that's going to give this map a score of four and a half out of five. A very respectable score nonetheless. This is going to be an excellent map for anyone that is looking to play with low-end systems or small machinery because it is going to play very, very well on low-powered systems. And all these fields are fairly small and therefore are going to be fairly easy to operate with smaller machinery. Now, if we jump real quick here into build mode, I want to go here to our paint textures. We've got fairly standard paint textures for FS22, as well as standard plants and traits. Now, I'd love to know your all's thoughts down in the comments below with respect to the Arkansas of American. A little confusingly named because I think be more appropriately named Arkansas of America, but that is all right. We're just going to go with the flow. Let me know what you think down below with respect to these fields, the shapes, the productions that are mixed here in on the map, and the overall look and feel. And until next time, happy farming.